we we do our own gardening. We don't need your gardeners. We don't need anything. We don't need you to tell us how and what we can put on the balcony, what color the shades need. To, you don't need to tell us that because we're not going to listen to you. We're just caring about the people around us. And if they tell me, oh, I don't like the red, but they've always been like, that's, that's you really go crazy about that Bella Lugosi and the goth stuff. You got the, the red curtains, like that's, so cool because it's you're supposed to just have white that's can you imagine you living in a place that looks like the brady bunch houses i'll show you i guess i didn't i don't know if i've showed you my place i've showed you the inside right i've showed you what courtney love did when she found my place and i'm slowly working on on it but ripley was like no 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 you got to do that thing like what sugar says he was saying like do do what Johnny Depp did with the guy from, um, wow, what band, cool band, uh, Butthole Surfers, right? I can't say that, probably, um, in YouTube, when I just did. And so, you know, it was the guys, what, uh, they, they crossed over um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? They crossed over, I don't know, in like 90, in 97, they decided, yeah, you know, something like that. But it was after Give It Away, they kind of gave it away. And one of the guitarists, you know, he, the important one, the one writing all the music and with some sort of vision, music, uh, of course, was the one who was like artistic and just said, you know what, I don't want to. I don't want to do this Sony like MTV thing you guys are kind of doing. It's and they're like, but it's not that, it's all, you know, new. Well, yeah, I know Kodak Theater is new, but to do three shows in a row? Like, take over the weekend? Really? You understood where I was trying to go with the music? Uh, the writer there, who's the, who's the writer with always the writers? Like, oh, Mr. Keith is, yes, hello. You don't like me telling stories about, you know, putting needles in your arm and running around the house, uh, you know, chasing after your your girlfriend's mom, going, I'm a good person. Well, if you don't want me to repeat that, you got to take your book off of the shelves. I mean, I'm not going to have to go to every place now and lick every one, because that's what I'll do to make your books out of circulation. Mr. Keatus with writer's blog. Like your Louis C.K. Right now you're gonna join in on that. When 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 did you oh you did wear a bathrobe? Your first appearance on MTV, right? Do you remember? No, because you were like, oh sick, right? But she came anyways to see that you well uh, sick as in you know you didn't want to go anywhere sick, like you didn't feel like getting social or you're waiting for your dealer. I mean, I was, any of those would have been so cool and truthful and been like, well, that's what they said MTV was gonna be like. It's gonna, not like, oh, we're all gonna conform like we're Courtney Love and have our faces destroyed by, by plastic surgery. And, and now you'll see Courtney loves fans, they'll get mad at my channel and my people saying, you guys don't understand, she's a goddess. And I have to send her these pictures after like, I don't know, Milos Foreman took over. I don't know, he was the one, she was the, she was going, oh, do you remember seeing those? She's just, every, every shot she'd be like, Milos, you know, MTV's gone, you know. It probably wasn't MTV, it was like something even worse for her to appear on, you know. Like, um, you know, something super creative, like the Sundance used to be. That's probably where it was. It was like at Sundance, and they're going, yeah. And she's like, Milos, and she's shouting to him, do you think, how'd you like the latest? She's pointing to her nose or whatever. I don't know what went first. It was her cheeks. Oh, so sad, right? She used to have those, like, buffy cheeks, and especially, man, I had a crush on her. Um, it was the Sid and Nancy. I get that, in the Sid and Nancy. But then after that, you saw it was all fake. I mean, the realest thing in Sid and Nancy was 
Iggy Pop showing up, but looking like he's like a nerd, he would never live a lifestyle like Sid Barry would be, no, I'm getting them wrong references. Sid, Sid, yeah, Sid and Nancy, you know, the other guy, he, he was the first in the whole Texas incident, incident that it's telling me to shut up. Okay, we're going to 5.33, 29, 30, 31.